Hey, what's going on guys? Flick here and today I'm happy to be bringing out a tutorial on glitch players in FIFA 16 career mode. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about what a glitch player is, a few examples of glitch players in my personal save, and how I generally find these players. I do want to give credit to the FIFA Careers subreddit. They have a thread on glitch players in FIFA 16. I personally contributed to that thread, and I think it's a fantastic resource to check out. They have a pretty complete list of glitch players that generally pop up in career mode. I'll be showing a few of them as well in this video, but I would recommend you guys check that out and use it as a resource. In addition, if you guys go on to find this tutorial helpful, go ahead and help me out by leaving a like down below and let me know if you want to see more of these tutorials or player reviews in the future. The concept of a glitch player is pretty simple and they're fairly common in crew mode. You'll see several instances in your save of players that do get glitched out, especially if you do have a longer save like five plus seasons in. But the concept is that the player exceeds his potential, sometimes by a little bit, but sometimes astronomically. And the most important thing to remember is that these players do have to be controlled by a CPU controlled team in order to get that growth. Meaning you can't have them on your team and they end up being glitched. You have to let them grow on a CPU team and then you can eventually transfer them into your own squad. In general, I found that goalkeepers are the best glitch players because that their growth is a bit more balanced. Sometimes you'll run into the case for other positions where a player receives a really good overall rating, but his stats just aren't that great because he didn't end up growing his physical attributes or something along the lines of that. But another cool thing about glitch players is that you'll get players from random countries that would have never been able to fulfill this potential. For example, this guy, I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that last name, but he's from Madagascar and you have an 86 rated player. I don't think Madagascar have had a player that have hit in their 80s in the course of FIFA. I could be wrong, let me know if there's any good players from Madagascar, but I think it's pretty cool to have these kind of players. One other important thing to point out is that for each save, the glitch players are going to be different. So the players that you see in this video might not be the same glitch players that you have in your own save. So the important thing to do is to use the techniques I'm about to get into to find your own glitch players. In my opinion, the most effective way to find glitch players is to utilize the global transfer network. And I only have one instruction set and that's the world class filter. I leave it to any position, but of course you can change that. So if you're looking for a goalkeeper, for example, just head to a goalkeeper and you might find some good glitch goalkeepers. Uh, but what I typically do is send the scouts to all the major countries, that being Spain, England, Germany, Italy as well as France and then you have one extra I sent mine to Belgium but you can switch that up how you see fit once your scouts come back with a report you're gonna want to look through all those players and find any names that stick out to you for me this Jake King guy stuck out to me I didn't think he would be an 89 potential player and his real potential is actually 66 so this is a great example of a glitch player He's exceeded his potential by 23 ratings, and you'll see a lot of these kind of players. So just look for any players that are out of the ordinary and go ahead and check them out. Scout them first so you make sure that they are actually glitched and check their potential on SoFIFA. Another pretty good method is to look at the transfer news. Sometimes you'll see a player that moves to a big name club that you wouldn't expect. So if you see that, go ahead and scout out that player and see if they are actually glitched. Alternatively, you can also look through all the major leagues and see if there's any players who have fairly high ratings that you wouldn't expect. I will say though that this process does take some time, so I'd recommend using the first two methods that I mentioned before you try this one. One final technique I will mention is perfect if you find yourself doing international management. And here I have the England job, and I found Will Buckley in my country pool, and he has a potential of 71, however his rating's 83. So this is another example of glitch players. Again, if you're like five plus seasons in, and you're taking over a team uh, like England, like Germany, like Spain, you'll probably find a couple of good glitch players in there. Well guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Hope you have found this video helpful. And if you do manage to find some cool glitch players in your own career mode, go ahead and tweet me over at my Twitter, Flickify, and I look forward to seeing some of those glitch players. But until the next video, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.